volumizing hairspray. I've seen, I think I've seen this in my hair salon a couple times, so I know that it's a good one. Um, it says shine seven, hold seven. I don't know if that is out of ten. I don't know, but I'm not even going to put this back in my bag. It's this garbage. I don't know why I didn't throw this out, so I need a little travel size, and then I need to probably buy a size of that because I really like that. Okay. In the middle section, I have my oil absorbing sheets. These are not a new thing at all, but they're new to me. This was literally the first box I've ever bought in my life. One of my cousins uh, used to use these all the time.
lip gloss is that? And then she made another TikTok, like, answering the question. And I really liked it, so I was like, alright. Um, it's just very sheer. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing something else, but, um, I wore this in my Q&A video. My last video, so. Number 200, Tainted Love. This would be a nice color, like, if it was, like, a matte lipstick. But I do like that. And I'm all for drugstore, like, makeup and lip gloss and stuff, so. Um, this is another one of my most used uh, lipsticks. This is a matte liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. It's in the shade Lolita. I've had this up for years, like, four years. Maybe, maybe more. Um, this is, there's like two Lolitas, I think. Two or three. This is the first one. This is number one. Um, and it's so pretty. And it's a miracle that I've had it for years and it's not dry. It's more of like a deep red. I've worn it in videos before. You've seen it. Um, I normally won't keep lipsticks in my bag. So I probably wore this over the weekend somewhere. I think I did. I did. I wore this, um, not this past weekend, but the weekend before, and I guess I just never forgot to take it out. The lip gloss, too. I gotta put both of them back, because I don't like it, because then all of a sudden I have, like, 15 lipsticks in my bag, and it's unnecessary, so. This is a good reminder for me to put them away. Um, and then I think I have, yeah, the middle envelope. I usually just keep, like, lipstick, lipsticks and chapsticks. This is Chap Ease. I don't even know what brand this is. It's, it's just a regular chapstick. That's SPF 15. We love that. I need that for not now, but like in the summer, my lips get so burnt. It is the worst feeling ever. And then it has this little carrier that you can like clip onto something and just slip it right in there. And that's so cute. I think my aunt left this for me or something, or she gave it to my mom. My mom didn't want it, so I took it. I put chapstick on like 15 million times a day, so I never say no to chapstick because I go through them so quickly. Alright, so that was all for the middle. And the back. Oh, I have my earbuds. Love these things. My little marble case. Anybody that knows me knows I love anything marble. And there are my AirPods. Um, people always ask me, my friend asked me other, the other day, if I think AirPods are worth it, I 110% think that they are. Like, for working out, going to the gym, game changer. I don't even remember how I used to work out with headphones, and I know that sounds dramatic, but it just, it makes your life so much easier you know, cleaning your room. I put headphones in when I clean my room and when I fold laundry, usually. Um, or when you're on the phone and you don't want to, you know, have it on speakerphone. So you put these on and you don't have to carry your phone around. Ugh. So this is the first generation. I have the old ones, but they still do the job. Apparently they're coming out with the new ones. I don't know how different they could be, but then again, the second generation is pretty different than the first one's kind of, sort of, so, what do I know? Then, of course, can't leave home without one. It's a mask. This one was made from, or made by, I should say, my grandma, my grandma's neighbor. Well, my grandma is not alive anymore, but when they were alive, they were best friends, and so she still very close family friends with us, and she's in her, probably her late 70s. We call her Zia Pina. Her name's Pina. Zia is aunt in Italian, so we call her Zia Pina. Anyway, um, she made this. She's like a amazing seamstress. Every time we have like a hole in our clothes or we lose a button or whatever, we ask her to, you know, uh, like sew it up for us. I think she's taken in a prom dress for me or something. Yeah, she's amazing. So, she made this. So, it's got this, like, florally... I don't even know what this is. Yeah, flowers on the inside. And then it's denim. 
in the front with elastic straps. So this is one of the more comfortable ones I own. I don't like the medical masks because they're not comfortable and they're too big for my face and I just don't like them. They like go up in my eyes and I just, I don't like them. So I like the cloth ones that I can just wash. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you